We are live. Well, hi, everybody. We are live, boy. Quick, get into position. Get in. Is that position? Okay. Well, 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 good morning. I enjoy saying that uh, as much as I enjoy saying good evening. We had a whole week of evening streams, and I really like them. I do. But I love a good Saturday morning stream. Man, it used to be my favorite thing in the whole world. Saturday mornings. Saturday mornings were always guaranteed video game time. Like, as a kid. For the most part, right? Like, I talk about snow days. Always got to play video games. is great. Um, getting up early in the mornings. That was, like, always a great time to play video games. But Saturday mornings. Saturday mornings, I always, always, always would try to make it gaming time. So... So, that's why that's why Saturday morning streams kind of, like, some people talk about Saturday morning cartoons. For me, it was Saturday morning gaming, and that's what we're doing today. So, good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking the video already. I got more people like the video than are even here, so thank you for that. I really appreciate that. Raging Calm, Sussy, Jedi, L, nice to see you. Um, RJ City, well, hi. Well, hi. Nice to see you. Everyone's happy to see RJ City as well. It's me, Anissa Orsi. Uh, this boy has a treat. He chose to hide it. So, I, you know, I, that's that's his choice. He can do that. Um, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, it's, uh, yeah. It's a good day. You guys, I have these aloe socks on my feet. My mom got them for me for Christmas. I have them on my feet. Look. These feel amazing. Amazing. Yeah, you may sniff. You may sniff. You may not. You may not chew. He doesn't really chew socks or shoes. He enjoys stealing them and running off with them. That's what he enjoys doing. It's... Got it. Good morning, RJ Ramos. Good morning, CM Pep. Ah, I'm enjoying. Mm. I do want to do this before I start here. Click that. You guys hear the music, right? I can't hear it yet. Check this out. My shirt. You want to see this one? Can you guys read it? Can you read it? Even though it's well, it's got puppy hair on it. Um, it says... What does it say exactly? Uh, well, it says Steve Carino's Squared Circle Cafe. Alright? It's pretty amazing. It's what I've brewed. I'm not sure which one I have, actually, if it was the gold or the silver bag. I think it was the silver bag. I need to take a picture. That was also my plan, but I forgot. Uh, but Steve Perino, I wanted to try his coffee. He had, like, Steve Perino was one of my coaches at the PC. And turned out, you know, I love coffee. You guys know this. Turned out, all of a sudden, I don't know if he's always had it or if it was a new thing that he started. But he had the Squared Circle Cafe, and I'm like, uh, I would like to try that. So I ordered a bunch. And then... And then it was like over Christmas and a bunch of stuff got delayed. Also, there was like major supply chain breaks. Uh, I knew this. Basically everything that I tried to buy through that time, I bet you guys have experienced it as well. Stuff is like delayed or not in stock or whatever. And it's pretty common. And it happened to him. And I was like, he emailed me. He was super apologetic. I told him it was fine. Not a big deal. Totally understand. And then, and then my order showed up and I had, I had extra coffee and I had this awesome shirt, which I'm going to cut the sleeves off of. I just hadn't yet. I washed it. I wanted to see how it fit. Because sometimes this is an important thing about cutting t-shirts. So those of you that like to uh, ask me about that. Wash the shirt. Wear it. Then once it's been worn, like look in the mirror and ask yourself, what don't I want? Like I can tell you right now, this neck this neck is not going to work. Alright? And based on how it fits will be how I cut the sleeves. And then once you have that, it's pretty much just a matter of cutting straight. Or like yeah, evenly, I guess. So, yeah. Steve Carino's Squared Circle Cafe. Check them out. I think they have an Instagram. Maybe Ty5. Is Ty5 here? Ty5. Bleep, bloop. Bleep, bloop. Bleep, bloop. Bleep, bloop. I need a link. That's what we need. Uh, she'll get it. She'll get it. She'll get it. And we'll post it. I'm going to be wearing it the whole stream. Imagine that. Um, but, yeah. It's awesome. And it's really good coffee. 
I think this is the silver bag, which was some sort of limited edition, so it doesn't surprise me that it's especially delicious. But, but it is my, I think RJ has tried it. RJ, have you tried Carino's coffee on your show? You have. You've wrestled with Carino, right? Haven't you? You know him. I know he knows you because he talked about you. Karina was actually one of a, one of those people in mine and RJ City's life lives that we both had. It was like we both knew them, and I was like, ah, that's so funny. Bring me pictures of Orson for the bugle. Wait, oh, he's Spidey to my J Jonah. <laughs> That's a great analogy. That's a great analogy, Jedi L. Bring me pictures of Osha. Now I, now I understand the quote. At first I was like, what? But then I had to read up, uh, you know? Sussy is prepared blanket heating pads in the gaming stream on. This is a perfect adult Saturday. I could not agree more, Sussy. I am. I could not agree more. Uh, let me grab my headphones. My headphones. RJ says, yes and yes. Both experiences were warm and delightful. Oh, thanks for posting the link. Look at that. RJ City doing his first mod work ever, I think, on behalf of Carino. See? We love you, Carino. <sighs> and your coffee is delicious. Or delightful. And delightful, as RJ would say. <sighs> I'm actually surprised that this boy has decided to just snuggle right up right away. He likes the morning. It's in the evenings. He's like, nah, man, there's stuff going on. There's stuff going on. It's only if I stream late enough that he'll finally be like, Ugh. he's an adventurous boy. He's an adventurous boy. Okay. We're playing Horizon Zero Dawn. We are going to continue chatting. So don't worry. I need, uh, I need to find my mushroom blanket. I'm really upset that I've lost it. How do you lose a whole mushroom blanket? I don't know. can't see it it's because it's the color it's a green screen with this light blue color i think it i think it does distort it just slightly oh that boy going to lay on his blankie i think he gets hot i think he gets hot and he likes sleeping against the beanbag he won't sleep in it i don't understand you know there's a solid selection of Carino's coffees. Yeah, and I only ordered one, but I ended up with two or maybe even three bags. I need to check. I need to take a picture of it. I will. It's really good. I like French press style. Personally. But my sister also has a, like a Jura, like a coffee machine. And it grinds, it grinds the beans and does the, like, the, it does everything and then makes you like one single cup. And it's pretty good, I gotta say. It's pretty good. But I also still very much enjoy French press. It's just fast. And But here's the thing. I think French press is also kind of fast. I don't think French press is slow. Damn, look at all those merchants. Alright, let me look at this. Uh, filter. Uh, I guess I should put collectibles back now. Because... Now that I have all these merchants that want to buy them, I feel like that's a thing I should do more. All right. French press posse. That should be a shirt. Maybe I should do that. For real, it's, it's nice. RJ uses French press every Sunday on his show, which you can watch tomorrow, by the way. Sunday's at 9.30. RJ drinks coffee in his underwear. And sings. And does, uh, you know, man, he actually does a lot for not very much money. <laughs> he performs on demand, uh, pretty, pretty impressively on his show, actually. And the people that attend it, they have discovered this. He also talks to a different person at the end of every show, pretty much. Now that he starts, he started doing the Twitter spaces thing. I really like it. A lot. And I think you should also... Let's see if he posts a link of his own stuff. Let's see if he'll do it. I bet he doesn't. 
but we'll see. We'll see. What are we gonna do? What's that? Go to the Hunter's Lodge. Let's go to the Hunter's Lodge. Remember they were like, Karja only, losers. <laughs> Actually, they weren't like that, but that one guy said they were like that. So let's go see. Let's go find out. Big Daz. Hello, Big Daz. How are you? Is Jay here? Jay's here. Good morning. I read the chat in reverse. Y'all have to forgive me, okay? Jesus. Uh, oh, no. Oh, yeah, I gotta go around. It's fine. French press. Freshly ground. Oh, I th freshly ground coffee is really a different world. Agreed. Very much so. Very much so. The the flavor from when it's like instantly ground and then consumed, like brewed and then consumed, is very different. This is the Hunter's Lodge. Hello. Only members and invited guests Meh. are allowed in. Welcome back, boy. How do I get invited? You've come all the way from the Savage East, right? You must have come across some of our hunting grounds. Ah. Each one has a set of hunting trials. If you pass a trial, you get an award called a Half Sun. Okay. Win three, and I'll let you in. Done. Now off you go. Don't be dismissive of me. Don't you do it. All right. So, well, we're going to do it then. Wait. Quest? Complete three trials. Okay, hold on. Show on map. Oh, damn. You Wait. What? Oh. So there's not a new one. It's just, it's like, go back and do the ones. Okay. I'll do it. I'll, I'll freaking do it. There's a lot to do here, too. What's that one? Find the groundskeeper. Valley meat hunting ground. Valley meat hunting ground. Here. And then we travel. Hunting quests! Let's go. Good morning, Steve. You have arrived. One of the best ways to start a game ever. You have arrived. I have arrived. Just an amazing thing to shout. Disappointed! That's how I imagine they shout, I have arrived. Sort of. Whatever the sun comes to do. <laughs> RJ Sunday show is very yeah, unique and a joy. It's a great way to describe it. So I see. It is very unique. It's one of those things until you watch it, you're like, I, you know, didn't know that I would want to want this, but what I do. <laughs> and then, yeah. I told you he wouldn't post his link. I knew he wouldn't. I knew he wouldn't do it. <laughs> he leaves! If I'm gonna prove myself in these trials, oh. I should do it fair and square. Sorry. I didn't realize these were off... Off limits. Hey, trader, gimme. Bye. Yep, free sample box. Every trader, like regular trader, has a free sample box. I also like the gambler's box. You never know. Thing to sell. Yep. Just for selling. And then I'll get rid of it. Oh, there. Yep. Not a ton. But, but a little. Alright. Once you get down to this part of the list, they're all for different than crafting. Which I, I want to hold as much as I can. Um, you know. Alright, let's hit the fireplace. Got it. The game is so immersive, I find myself forgetting about the chat room. Sorry, guys. I I understand. When I am hardcore into, into playing it, I also forget about my chat room sometimes, so I apologize. I really do. But I sort of pride myself on being good at it, so I try to at least uphold a certain standard of chatting. Because I do enjoy it. It is part of it for me. This game is really good. Okay. Hello, Keeper. Talk to me. What do we got to do? You, you can stay away. I have no quarrel with the Nora. And I have no quarrel with you. What is this place? These are hunting grounds, and I'm the keeper. I offer the element trials for those who want to join the Hunter's Lodge. Now you know, so you can be on your way. Wait, what if I want to have a go at one of these trials? <sighs> then I have to give them to you. What are you doing, boy? 
All right, talk to me. Why are you being weird? You're not very friendly, are you? Oh, and the Nora R? Don't you usually kill trespassers and outlanders? <laughs> Is that what you're afraid of? Look, I didn't choose this assignment. They told me it was an honor, then stuck me right near your sacred lands. Damn. So I'm keeping to what I know, herds and trials, and hoping I won't get murdered by Nora, angry about the Red Raids. Just to be clear, I have no plans to murder you, all right? Fine, but I'm watching you. This guy's had some bad experiences with the Nora, and that's understandable. I like that there's like layers to why characters act certain ways. You know, I do. Like Olin being kind of a jerk at first, you're like, what? And then you learn, you're like, damn, he was kind of blackmailed into doing it. Like, I feel bad. And he did try to get away from me. He did try to get away from me. And, and Aloy was like, what? Why are you being weird? And, and even I said that. But then I'm like, oh. And that just is a good lesson that like, sometimes things are not always as they seem. Just because it's the first way you thought of something doesn't mean it's correct. Hmm. What are the trials? These trials test a hunter's skill with different ammunition types when taking down machines. Uh -huh. Something I'm if you good can't at. master mine in time, maybe you should try one of the easier hunting grounds out in the world. How many hunting grounds are there? Five in total. I'm sure one of the others would welcome you. You're just mean. What's the hunter's lodge? What it sounds like. A place where hunters get together, share war stories, and hunt dangerous machines. Sounds easy enough. Easy? What do you know, girl? I know that Why you call me girl? Want to fight Anora, you're treading awfully close. Yeah, right? Fine. Tell him. You Damn, Aloy. You those chuffs at the lodge? Win three half-sons at any hunting ground. Uh -huh. You'll see how easy it is to get along there. But better you than me, I suppose. Three to choose from. Go ahead. For this trial, shoot the containers on Strider's backs with fire arrows. If you hit them right, you'll get quite a blast. Right. Um, right. Striders with fire arrows on it. Good luck with that. Slide down a rope and we can get started. Yeah. I ain't scared. Let's go. Over here? What's that? A bellow bag. Oh, damn. Is that a Strider? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. I'm gonna tag. Okay, let's go. Good morning, Ty Five. Leap, flip. You miss RJ City actually doing mod work around here. Ty Five. Um, hold on, I gotta do this. Kaboom! It's a start. Oh no, come, come, come. I thought I just had to do one! It's bullshit. Where'd it go? Right there, right there, right there. Ah! Bastard, did I get it? I think I might have done it. No, I don't know. There's no surprise. Wait, do I need to set more? Here we go, here we go, here we go. No. Top. I gotta get out of here. Hold on.
Ooh, speaking of breakfast, I got, uh, I'm equipped with a crunch cup, y'all. The, the crunch cup. The snow's got a bite out here. Which I have because Shayna and Charlie got. They were all about it. And I got Lucky Charms in it, in case you were wondering. It is the best way to eat cereal. If you don't want your cereal to get soggy. Some people like soggy cereal, okay? They enjoy it, and that is their prerogative. But me personally, I like it not soggy. So, yeah. A full sun on your first try. If I hadn't seen it myself, I would have said you must have cheated. I did them all? Freeze trial, shot trial. If you can freeze enough machines and take them down. Okay. If that's what you want. Okay. Freeze them. Freeze. So quickly, Tie Five. So she says she is a bot. People think I'm joking. She's a bot. That's how she does it. That's why we go bleep bloop. We go bleep bloop. Tie Five go bleep. That's just how it works. You want a blazing sun on your first try? That's admirable. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. So I did not get all three on the fire trial. I need to do it again. But let's... In this trial, Let me do the you'll need to stun bellow backs with shock ammo and shoot off the components in their undercarriages. Get going. And then shoot off the thing? Are you sure? Okay. Wonderful. All right. Now go, go down a rope and I'll pine you. Bleep, Stun them and then shoot canisters off the underside. So we got shock wires. We got shock bombs. Shock wire, shock bomb. 
bow. And then we got hard point arrows. There we go. <clears throat> so. Alright. You know, I need an upgraded sling. The sling was the first thing I bought that was kind of upgraded, but now... son on your first try if i hadn't seen it myself i would have said you must have cheated finally oh, gamer. you have the three marks you need to enter the hunter's lodge in meridian Woo -woo. why don't you go there yeah right now you go there What's the Hunter's Lodge? What it sounds like. A place where hunters get together, share war stories, and hunt dangerous machines. Sounds easy enough. Easy? What do you know, girl? Stop calling me girl! Who doesn't want to fight Anora? You're treading awfully close. Yeah. Fine. I love when she's You already won the three half-sons you need to enter the lodge in Meridian. Yes, I did. Go see for yourself how easy it is to get along there. Okay. I'll freaking do it then. Again, I'm trying not to judge, because we, as we learned in the game, it can be something else. What's the, I did this. Hurry up and choose your trial. Um. Farewell. I'll take my leave. I'll take my leave. Should you can I get, always come back. You know what? But, Should I get all of them, or I wonder if I get more XP when I do it. What up, Crypt Dog? How's it going, man? Now that I understand them better, too. For this trial, shoot the containers on Strider's backs Got with it. fire arrows. If you hit them right, you'll get quite a blast. Got it. Slide down a rope so I can start timing. All right. You under my feet? You trying to find cereals? 
what up, Jenzilla? Jenzilla, were you asking me yesterday about what plant, that you were gonna get a new plant, baby? And that you were asking for plant suggestions? Because my sister said, someone in the chat, maybe you guys know the answer to this. My sister said, someone in the chat had said that and she wanted to respond, but she was like, I didn't wanna, I don't want to like just keep inserting myself in your show. I'm like, they like it. Oh my God, please respond. And you know, cause she, she, I think she feels like she drops in to check on me, but she like doesn't want to feel like you're just standing there hovering and watching. And I'm like, you're not, it's not the same thing. Not the same thing at all. Feel free, feel free. And so uh, I told her to, and she had, because she had plant suggestions for whoever was asking that. Uh, cause she loves plant babies. Like she loves them. this boy was licking my ankles all right uh strider canister time oh god damn it no. oh wait did i do it just nope. stay out of their way for now three out of four Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did I do it? Please. Oh! I think I did it. I did it! There we go. That's right. Give me the gold. Give me the gold. Odd 2 is always welcome in the chat. I know. I'm the odd one. But she is odd 2. It's just... It's just the truth. We're just being honest. But I think this chat room has always embraced that, you know, like everybody is a bit, you know, like saying something is weird or odd is not an insult, okay? I don't think so. I mean, it can be, you know what it reminds me of? Hillbilly. It can be used as an insult. And sometimes people say it as an insult. But I don't, I, it does not inherently, uh, it is not inherently insulting to me. Uh, it's actually something quite to be proud of, uh, I think. Back to your business. I think being odd is as well. And it kind of runs in our family. Yeah, needed help, but I missed it. I know, we were just talking about how this game is so immersive that it makes it difficult sometimes. But I try really hard. I have high, like, aspirations. Man, I did it fast. Like, real, now real fast. Now that you have this blazing sun, I think it's time for you to move on. Nah, man. We got the shock trial to go. We gotta do even better. In this trial, you'll need to stun bellow backs with shock ammo and shoot off the comp. All right, let's go. Good. I'll start timing when you slide down a rope. I have shock bombs as well. Oh wait, where'd he go? Oh my god.
do it? Did I do it? Did I do it? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I don't think I did. Jesus. That was slop, slop, slop. I, you know what it is? I need an upgraded sling, I think. I like these. They make they. It's like a good check of your weaponry. Like, is it as That's good it. as it needs to be? I'm already gone. Huh? I'm not sure. A full sun. Oops. You're welcome. Do I not do it? Damn it! Disappointed, boy. Everything's fine. Nobody panic. I had a malfunction in the crunch cup, but everything's fine. Everything's fine. I did not have the inner part, so it was user error, not crunch cup error. I did not have the inner one, the inner thing, uh, screwed quite tight enough. And milk did get into the cereal container. But it's fine. I'll survive. Damn it! I'm gonna try one more time. But if I can't do it... It's okay. He's that boy. Oh, now he's moving over to the other rug. Oh, and he dug out his trachea. He decided it was trachea time. I'll pass on the trials for now. Yeah, let's... Oh, good. Hear him gnawing on that thing? Oh. I'll save the shooting for down in the hunting ground. Yeah. Okay. I was trying to drink the milk. Since it's it's ruined. And I'll just eat it out of the bag. Whatever. Uh oh. Yep. Yep, you got it. Thank you, boy. All right, we're being a mess. I can get into the hunter's lodge now. So let's see what it's all about. Oh, thank you, boy. Appreciate you. Oh, Charlie made a plant daddy channel in the new Discord. Charlie's the best. She really is. You guys need to follow Charlie on Twitch. I believe boop. And also subscribe to her on YouTube. That's where she uploads the, the VODs from her Twitch, which I love because I can then watch them. I don't have a Twitch app on my phone anymore. And so I just, I love having it pop up on YouTube. Like the next morning, it's great. Life in the queen was never easy. And living here ain't either. I'm really low life. Here. There are no shadows on the noonday sun. Words to live by. The noonday sun. There's another quest up here, it seems, as well. Yeah, let me in. You need to three half sons of our hunting it. grounds to gain admittance to the lodge. I did it. You mean these? Very well, then. Congratulations and welcome. 
Our members reap rewards and adventure and live on in legend. Uh-huh. Am I a member now? No. You're only a fledgling. Junior members are called thrushes. To join and become a thrush, you need a senior member called a hawk to sponsor you. So I Gotta need have to a find sponsor. a hawk. Got it. Yes. But a hawk can only sponsor one hunter at a time. And I'm afraid most of them already have one. I've overcome worse odds. Where do I start? Upstairs, present yourself to the Sunhawk Assis, our leader, who should introduce you to a hawk. I hope it's worth it. What do you mean? You'll see. <laughs> You'll see. Why do, why do they always gotta be ominous like that? Hey, what up? By the sun! King of Odd's edict really yeah. is taking effect. Never thought I'd see a Nora here and a woman at that. So, you Excuse have marks me. for me? What do you mean? From the hunting grounds. Uh, oh, right. You're new here. What edict? King Avad insisted that the Hunter's Lodge had to welcome everyone. Man, woman, outlander, regardless of tribe. Ursa, captain of the Vanguard, came in and delivered that news personally. You should have been there. It was glorious. But I figured they would sweep it under the rug and say no woman or outlander qualified. Yet here you are. What was your weird way of eating peanut butter, Raging Calm? Are you a member? Me? No. Karja don't exactly encourage their daughters to run around hunting machines. But all the changes in Meridian have been good to me. I don't think the Asaram know how to sell to us Karja. <laughs> the trader I worked for last couldn't sell flowers to a bee. He was too plain hammered, as they like to say. This is a much better job. I figure I'll be able to open my own shop soon enough. What do you want with my marks? You hunters and your badges. I'm not going to take them. I'm going to give you a weapon that sets you apart. Ah, oh, we trade them, yes. Yeah, I thought that'd get your attention. If you earn marks in all three trials at each of the five hunting grounds, come to me. I can give you up to three weapons. One for 15 half-suns, one for 15 full-suns, and one you'll love for all blazing suns. Oh, wow. Okay. What do I do with these marks? If you get the same mark from all the hunting ground trials, I can give you a Hunter's Lodge weapon. Show me what marks you've earned, and we'll see if you qualify for one of these special weapons I have for you. I'm a little short on marks. No problem. Once you have marks from all 15 trials, you'll be able to get the next Hunter's Lodge weapon from me. Got it. Oh, yeah. Gentzilla! Thank you so much, Gentzilla. What do my sis have in mind for suggestions? Also, what's my thoughts on an okay future, okay planter line? I got you, dude. I've actually been talking to my sister a lot about getting some plants down in this area. I have a great spot over here with a sliding glass door where a lot of light can come in. And, and plant lights are great, too. Um, but I really think I can... And there's, like, another window there. There's actually several windows where I could get light. I just have this side... Uh, darkened off because of the VR area, but I think it'd be really great down in this space, man. Plants make a huge difference, and it's just really nice. So I'm all about that. That would be fun. I need. I do. I should document my plant journey. Oh well. I mean, if I said you were a madman, I meant it as like more like a mad lad, like intense. Like all right, because I love peanut butter. Orson loves eating peanut butter straight, too. Um, and I'm never sad. Like, I'm always happy to clean a spoon, man. Their peanut butter's delicious. I'm so glad I'm not allergic to peanuts. That would be really sad. Legendary hunts. Legendary. Oh, it's like tales of legendary hunts. Huh. Funny. There is so much in this game. Whoa, Glintalk. They're just crazy. Oh. Charger. Ugh. Yeah, the ram looking one. Weapons of the Lodge. Ooh. 
Damn! JJK? Also, Gentilla, for the my my sister, I told her to check the chat just now. So she can she's perhaps formulating a response now, I hope. About suggestion. She was talking to me about avocado trees and lemon trees, but I don't know if that was her suggestion. Because she was saying she had been thinking about getting new plants and here was why. And I'm like, oh my god, you need to just say it next time. Excuse us. Excuse us. Ah, the machine okay. rider graces us with her presence. You're Anora, are you not? A fighter from the savage lands. The sacred land, but yes. I fought for everything I got. Huh. Tell me, do the Nora often wander into other people's homes and do whatever they like? Well, sometimes. Of course not. But that is what you're doing right now. I'm stinking up our lodge. Pest wow. your betters. You're hardly my better. Yeah. Legan said I had to meet you to become a member. That would be true if there were any chance of you becoming a member. But you're a savage. And Damn. your savage will rise in the ranks of the Hunter's Lodge while I am the Sun Hawk. Okay. Whatever, Never dude. Gone. No. I was led to believe there are rules here. If they count for nothing, then even your position is meaningless. Yeah! So quit blustering and tell me. Is there a hawk who is free to sponsor me? Very well. Talana is free. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fitting? Trash sponsoring trash. Now get out of my sight. Shut up, bruh. You're annoying. Damn. I wanna... I wanna... Mm -mm. I don't like this. There we go. Oh, Jesus! Well, boy, you got another? I'm struggling. I'm struggling this morning, y'all. It's because I'm not used to using Lucky Charms as part of it. Favorite brand of peanut butter? I like Crunchy. I know that's not a brand, but I will eat a lot of different peanut butters. I try not to be, you know, I, I wouldn't consider myself too picky about it. I'm not a big fan of like the all natural peanut butter with the oil and stuff separate and then you have to stir it to get it together. I don't I don't really like those. I'm gonna be real honest. I'm not crazy about them. You're a Talana? I see said you were a hawk without a fledgling to sponsor. Or are you trying to drive me off too? It's okay, I've dealt with worse. Mm. I'll bet you have. But you're wrong. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Up, up, up. Go. Just, uh, there we go. Okay, here we go. Back to the game. It's not okay, especially not today. What happened today? One of our own just died fighting Red Maw. You'll never Meemaw. face a more dangerous Thunderjaw. Cuts through trees, rocks people I'm sorry to hear that it's part of the hunt Assis what's his story he's the sun hawk of the lodge mm -hmm. the highest ranking asshole <laughs> sorry, member he's taken down ravagers stalkers behemoths so I've taken down a lot of machines as have I even brought down two stormbirds I've taken down but multiples He's a hawk who brought in the trophies first. And that's how it works. Ah. Whichever hawk defeats the greatest machine first becomes the sun hawk. Ah. Ooh, okay. How does one become a hawk? When a hawk dies, 
His thrush is promoted in his place. Hey, hey, hey. No matter how anyone feels about it. Damn. Who is this Legan, the man at the door? Legan? He's a hawk. He had an impressive run in his day, but he doesn't fight anymore. He supports the lodge in other ways. Unlike the other hawks, who hoard all of us kills and drink the bar dry. Is there any actual hunting in this lodge? So far, <laughs> it's been all talk. <laughs> yes, of course. You fight a machine, then bring its trophy to assist the Sunhawk, then no one can deny you brought it down. Oh, I gotta go through him, though? Come on. I'm ready to hunt, so tell me. What do I have to do? You want them to regret looking down on you? Then speak to them in their language. Kill three sawtooths, two ravagers, and a stalker. Deliver their trophies directly to Assis. That should shut them all up. So if I do that, you'll sponsor me? I'll consider it. Just to make Assis boil. Alright. I'm down. Let's go, girl. Thick apple butter on biscuits. Oh my god, yes. I occasionally have gotten homemade apple butter at home. Nora, are you? And it's such fascinating customs. And a amazing. Tire. What those shadow cards did to Captain Ursa. I need a strider as a pet or a mouth, not a pet. I thought they're watching Pocahontas. <laughs> they are just. Irks. I hate how it... God, I don't know. And there are people like that. Still to this day! There are people that dumb. Oh, look. Okay, first of all, I do need this. All that, not this, but this. And... We are gonna... Sneak and override one of these guys. So I can ride around and get my trophies. Stocking up. This one over here by himself seems like a good target. Override, override. Got him. Uh, by the way, see the back hip area, y'all. You're always like, where are you sticking it? In the hip. Alright? Relax. Orson, where are you? Oh shit. Orson, where you at, boy? Come here. Ho! Were you chewing on- Oh, you were chewing on the phone! Hi, you good boy. You want Orson be Borson? Orson be Borson. There's a, fl a flower here as well. Let's go get it. Oh, Jesus! Oh, there's gotta be a way up there. Oh, what's this? Ah! What are you doing, Bubba? Why are you, getting, why are you, why are you standing on me? At least you're not... You know, as long as he's not, like, pushing me and biting me and, like, being a jerk, I don't mind. I like when the boy's cute like this. You want up in my lap? Is it time for a pupper mission? Is it time for a pupper mission? I know. My boy. My best boy. My best boy. Don't nibble on my nose, you little turd. Do not. My best boy. My best boy. You love me. Do you love me? You love me, nipples, nipples, yeah. You're my mama's baby. Are you mama's baby? See your little nub. They can't see your little nub a wiggling. I love you so much. You 
best boy. You best boy. I bet it's the light. He wants to snuggle and sleep, and uh, I think he's trying to. I think the lights are too bright for him. You know, you're trying to know, baby. They are very bright. They are very bright. Best boy. episode of Horse of Vision today. Yep. Oh, I enjoyed that. I needed a little a little dopamine dump there. Goodness. And actually, we're at an hour. Let me take a quick break. It's actually a really good idea. And maybe that's what he was telling me. Mama's time for a break. break. Ooh, wait, let's see. We'll be right back. We ain't safe. This is the first time, guys, he's been in his beanbag. 
This is the first time. Wait, focus, dang it. Focus. I want it focus. And he's out. Well, you get the idea. I'm probably going to post this picture, y'all. Because it's real cute. It's real, real cute. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's so cute. Boy, you love the beanbag. Hey, hey, hey. No, what you got there? Don't do that. Oh, he's hiding his trachea. He's hiding it. It's so cute. Okay, let me take a break. I'll be right back, guys.
right, y'all. Oh, dang it. Jenzilla, my sister, she put it in the chat. She sent me a screenshot out of it, but for some reason, I don't know if it went through. Let me scroll up and see if I just missed it. I told her to look, and she was like, oh my god, I tried to write, but I think it was too long. What did she say? But she screenshot it, so I know she did it. Hey, I don't see it. Did I miss it? Why would it not post? It's so weird. So, hold on, hold on, hold on. The screenshot. I was too busy looking at Orson pictures. Um, hold on. She said, maybe it's because I'm craving spring slash summer already, but I'm interested in trying to grow a Meyer lemon tree. I had one indoor years ago and the smells were amazing. Plus you can eat the lemons. That's kind of awesome. I kind of want to limit, like there's a reason lemon is like the most common uh, flavor of, I shouldn't call it flavor, of cleaning supply, right? Lemon fresh. So I could totally see that. So that was her, that was her suggestion. Gentzilla, a lemon tree. Maybe I'll get the lemon tree. Maybe we can get lemon trees together. Me and you, Gentzilla. Come on, lemon tree, lemon tree. What do you say? You get one, I'll get one. Mm. He'll grow to love that bag of beans. Oh my God, I hope so. I gotta post that picture. I'm, I'm, I've got an idea. All three of my favorite dogs love and have that exact bean bag. That exact one. Charlie got herself one of these bean bags. She bought it for herself. She was like, oh, I want a bean bag. What? Like she got herself this awesome bean bag. And it was not like super cheap or anything, okay? It wasn't outrageous. It wasn't cheap. And puppy, Isis puppy, immediately claimed it as her own and was just like, as soon as we floofed it out, she was literally like stepping in it, like, oh thanks. Oh. And just like curled up in it. And we were both like oh. She, she, <laughs> it's like, what are you going to do? And I was like, well, you know, it's fine. It's a big bean bag, right? It's fine. Just let her have it. She won't sleep in it all the time. She does and did. It was like one of her favorite spots. Uh, even if, so <laughs> we cameras set up everywhere so that we could watch the dogs when they're home. And, you know, if, if no one was there, you do kind of want to see what they're doing. And Puppy would often go to her bean bag. Oh my god, he's getting in it again! <gasps> he's looking at me. He just stopped. He's like, what? I need to not freak out. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Oh! Oh, wait. I'm gonna record it. Hold on. He, he knows. Listen, y'all, I got an Instagram account to run, okay? We can't be missing these opportunities. He's in his freaking beanbag, y'all. Oh, my God. Hold on. Oh, 
He's getting out. Damn it. Oh my god, I love that he I love that he is getting in the bean bag. It's the cutest. I have to send this to Mia. Like right now. Where's the video? I just took babies. He he knows when I'm watching him. Oh my god. And then he gets weird about it. Like, am I allowed in here? I am so happy. I bought him that beanbag. Oh, so anyway, Puppy claimed the beanbag, so it became her thing. And then Stannis, Stannis decided that he also really liked that beanbag. Like, he really wanted in it too. Uh, and Puppy was not crazy about that, actually. She always kind of wanted the beanbag. Um, I think a couple times maybe they shared, but Puppy really thought it was hers. So, and this was about the time that Mia was moving out, and so she bought Stannis the same beanbag, because she's like, he really did love it. So, I, why not, why am I not getting him a new, like, I'll get him one for the new house. And so she did, and Stannis loves it, and sleeps in it all the time. And he, she's actually said he uses it for, like, when she plays fetch with him. It's like a crash pad, which is also kind of adorable. And after I moved, and I got Orson, and I looked at our space, I was like, you know, you know what it needs down here is a bean bag. And so I got one. And at first, he was not... He didn't hate it, but he didn't really want to get on it. I don't think he was scared of it. I just think he was like, I, you know, why do I need to get up there? So I started throwing his toys up there and he would jump up and grab them and, and run off. But he did not like, cause I did, I tried to put him in it and he immediately jumped off. He's like, no, 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 I don't like this. Like he jumped off right away. So I did the toy thing, which he would jump up, grab the toy, run away. And then he would sleep and it's on his blanket, his big puppy blanket that I have for him. It's like. I don't know, you may have seen it in some of the pictures. Maybe. If not, I need to post one. It's cute. Um, shout out to Alpha Paw. Alpha, Alpha Paw. That's what they were. Um, I've got it sitting on his blanket. And so he would sleep against it, right? Like he would lay or in a ball or, li or laying against it. But he still wouldn't get in it until literally today while I'm streaming. I look over and he's like... Is her name still Mia Yim in your phone? Yes. Listen, that's how I met her, okay? When it's like, when that's how you're introduced, that's the, like, where your friendship, it's like, I don't want to change it. Leave me alone. Stalker trope. Oh, flower. It's up on top of this. Let me grab my Where's my blanket? I need to sit like an elderly. Nothing wrong with it. Top five knows. I don't know where my mushroom blanket is, but I have this adorable puppy blanket that I'm gonna use instead. Look at that, wait. It's a puppy. This is how big it is. Is that right set up? No, nope, not yet. A puppy. An Isis puppy. Look how precious. The softest dog. The velveteen puppy. Mm. There should be millions of blankets made with her face because it is especially soft. It really is. And I love this blanket. And I stole it. And Shayna swears that this was hers. She swears it. She swears it. But I told her that since she gets to keep puppy, I at least get the blanket. And I think that's fair. And it is so sweet. Hi, Pubba. Look at this boy now, too. Him's pretty soft. Orson Wellington is a soft marshmallow boy. If Stannis was made of cheese, Orson has marshmallows in his face. For sure. He is a marshmallow boy. He was. I need to redo my level up as well. Look at this. Oh my god, he's back. He's back. He's back. Y'all, he's back. There. 
Orson Vision. The dot, this one. Long roll and a short roll. Yeah. Now, Stalker Trophy. Right. It's close. It's that one. But I want up there. How do I get up there? There's got to be like a somewhere to climb. I'm gonna go around this way. It's the couch blanket. Yes, it sat behind me. That was the other thing. I I used it regularly. I used it, and it was left out in the common area for a long time. And it was most used by me. And even though I can't remember exactly where I got it, I know it was mine. And her other one, hers was a different one. She took a picture with it. It's on my Instagram. It's not this blanket. She posed with it, and Puppy is sitting in front of it, and it's on my Instagram somewhere, and if someone looks, uh, you will see it. It's there. I know it's there. I'm pretty sure. And it's a different blanket. It is not this blanket. I'm like, that's the only blanket you have proof of saying that's yours. I don't see that. I don't see you in a picture of this blanket anywhere. Oh, God. Is that a, what am I doing? What am I doing? Pay attention, Jess. Is that a stalker? That's a stalker. Oh, God. Oh, God. Run. Run. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here! We found a stalker. Oh boy. We killed some wildlife. That's fine. Okay, 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 okay. Good job, good job. Whoa, okay, we still got a stalker. No, nope. or those are striders. I'm not sure which. Oh god. Careful where you're driving. Oh god, careful, careful, careful. Is that a stalker? That is a stalker. Still kind of looking for a place to climb up, and I don't really see. Oh Jesus! In a tree. I'm trying to find a place to climb up. And if I find it, I'll stay there and I'll fight this thing, and then I'll climb up. But I can't really see anywhere to climb up. Oh, what the hell? Maybe is it here? No way. Hold on. Okay, first of all, get off. I don't want you to die. Thank you. Now let's prepare to fight a thing. that I can get out of this huh? Watcher? oh it's a loop so much Jess so much Jess is it too much Jess I'm sorry It is so sweet. I'm the best boy. Is that it? That is a strider. A strider. I appreciate you guys giving me double the watch time, though. That's pretty awesome. Did you guys give up on the Project Zomboid server? We need to play together. We need to play together. I just need to have a time other than when I'm streaming. Because I've got to beat this. Before the next one comes out, I'm determined. Gonna need this. Oh god. Oh, what am I doing? Starting a stampede. Oh. Is he gonna blow? No. This fire build I've got going on is legit. Right. I'm determined to find a way up. Maybe being daytime will help. Also, I don't know where that stalker went. I just didn't want my mount to die, so I left him. I'll call him back. Handy? Yeah. I'm not trying to cover long distances right now. I'm trying to explore near this. Wait, what's that? Why's that glowing? What is that? What is that? Oh, shit. What is that? What is that? What the fuck is that? Oh, my God. Hello? What is that? Oh, That's, it's their trap, you son of a bitch. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, you're crazy. Holy. 
Holy shit. Oh my god, oh. these things are crazy! God, they're freaking... These fights are so fun! Holy shit! They drop traps too, these bastards. Wrong one, damn. Woo, gotcha, baby. Y'all, that's how you do it though. The traps, they are kind of crazy with the traps. They do not just randomly jump into the traps. You gotta stun them with the shock and then maybe use that opportunity to beat them up a little bit, but then apply some other type of thing to it as well, like freeze. Oh, I was just, uh, okay, hold on. Damn. Damn, dude. The normal survive. They always do. It's that barbarian resistance. Come on. Where, is, where are you, horse? There you go. There he is. That guy literally comes running from wherever he is.
do it. Dang it! You. No, I gotta sneak up on them and I can't. I'm not. Do not attack me. They are hostile as I around here. Leave me alone. I really do need to start trying to sneak through more. I like the XP though. Oh! Ow! Where'd you come from? Oh shit. Oh great. Oh fucking great. I am so unprepared right now. I, I feel like they are outside their zone, okay? Where is he? 
where is he? So there. Is that him? him? What? He's invisible in my focus. Been unfair. I still did it. Oh my god. Thank god. Alright, check the traps. God. Uh, that was. They said they wanted one stalker trophy. I didn't want to fight three of them. That's just horrible. And I'm like hurting bad. I ain't got no health potions. I got this thing that like gives me a temporary health buff, but then it goes back down to what my actual health is, which is like almost nothing. So I need to search for... Oh, wait. Oh, God. There's... Traps. There. Horrible! Oh my God. That better not summon some. I need to get out of here. <laughs> did I get the... Did I get what I needed? Did I get a trophy? Oh, no! Wrong button! Damn! Oh, well. It's fine. It's fine. Got one. It was intense. It was very intense. That was kind of crazy. I've fought stalkers before. One. And they are hard. And I thought that's what I... I didn't realize you could fight many of them. <gasps> Jeez. Are not fun. Come on. There it is. Did I get what I did? Let me check my my quest. God, that was intense. Okay, one of one. Stalker trophy. Got, yeah, I got the hardest thing first, of course. Right, of course. Where's the rest? What's this? Corruption zone? am I looking for? Is it way here? Oh my god, so far. Jeez. Saw two. Jesus. Saw two. Wait. Those are the nearest sawtooth. But look, I need this. I need this giraffe. Or whatever it is. Tall neck. Let me go here. This is the wrong direction. This is the direction I need to go. There's a metal flower here. Let's get this metal flower first. Now that we've cleared the area of Sawtooth, we should be able to... Oh god, nope, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. It's not safe yet. There we go. Welcome back, Orsie. Well played. I mean... I tried, dude. So it, it was... Not easy. Come on! Really don't like that noise. I need to find more medicinal herbs and berries as well. New zone. Infected zone. Yeah. Oh, great. I'm probably going to. I'll tuck that away. Back. 
I can send them on fire, they pretty much die, but they're really hard to hit. Oh my god. Whew. That was intense. The combat is pretty intense. And they do a good job of continually scaling it up as you evolve along the, the skill tree and stuff like it really makes you fully take take full use of your capabilities if you want to survive Sorry I didn't show you the other one. It was like the almond flavor. And they're mini ones. I love macaroons. I don't know if you guys know that about me, but I love macaroons. Mmm. Things aren't cheap. worthy battle. It was. I still got one more over here. It's the best. And there's very few flavors that I don't like. And I've tried a lot. Oh god, do I hear more stalker bombs? God. Look at them, they're just scattered everywhere. They're awful and annoying. Oh, oh no, no you do not. No you are not. No you are not back. Stop that, stop that. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. I want this damn metal flower and I want you to leave me alone. Oh god. Run, run, run. I know what to run. 
run. I know when to run. I ain't stupid. Alright. Forget you, Metal Flower. Oh my god. Forget you, Metal Flower. It's bullshit. They just respawn? Like, what? Get the hell out of here. Don't mind me. Oh god. Get away from me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh my god. Get off me. How the hell do you get up there? I don't know. Alright, forget you. I'm not equipped. I need to go back. Sawtooth. Ravager. Ravager. Damn. What? Does it say what level it is? Level 16. Well, that's... I need to open some of these. Oh. Wonderful. Good. Now. Oh, shoot. Alright, keep running. Now look at your map. Screw you, Metal Flower. You're too hard to get. I don't know what to say. But I do need to go. I'll go this direction. This is the closest. Take it. We don't run away. We only gather strength and come back stronger. Exactly. And we go still while we gather up some more health herbs. Berries. Eat the berries! Oh, there's some. Oh. Hot. Sticking to my armor. <laughs> I like that Aloy speaks and reacts to her environment. What bird does that? There's a bird that does that. I heard it growing up. I know I did. Anybody know? Any bird enthusiasts out there that know? Saving these for the trail. Long roll, short roll. I like it. Okay, we've got our health back up, at least. But now, I can hold up to three bars of healing herbs. Like the green bar underneath my health bar. That's my... My health healing pouch. I hold three of those. You get a little plus symbol when you, when you get it. It's nice. Two ninety-five. Reasonably close to this one. Tactical retreat is intelligence, not cowardice. I agree, man. Live to fight another day. That increases your chances of victory overall far more than staying in a situation that you are doomed to lose. Knowing when to tactically retreat is a wonderful, important keep. skill. In my opinion. See how it restarted? I used to not understand that. I thought I like accidentally used it or something, and now I was like, oh, the plus means I'm getting another one. Yeah, yay. I wonder what Carl is up to. Me too. I actually think about, about and talk about Carl fairly regularly. Carl was a crazy experience. Carl the Owl? Crazy experience. Definitely this feeling of like animals living. Like we kind of think animals are just like randomly about. But like, like they hang out in certain areas and have patterns and habits and routines and daily like 
They have like a daily routine just like we do. And they go on about their life. And Carl the Owl was a great example of that for us. Puppy was a little aggro towards Carl. But he was not uh, he was not put off by her though. That is what was funny. Because Carl would just like stand there and look. Well, and I'm like, puppy, stop, be nice. Pretty sure Carl watches out for us. see nothing. could definitely tell that Carl was watching the house. She certainly felt that. That is true. Sawtooth are more reasonable. Okay. Quick save. I see him. I see him over there across the pond. Carl ate Mr. Snake. I said I thought Carl ate Mr. Snake. <laughs> like, it crossed my mind. And, like, the way Carl was always around, and I'm like, in a way, Carl did not see that big old snake, the way he liked to lay out on the bushes and stuff. And I'm like, ooh, Mr. Snake might have become a snack and his kids. Maybe. 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 This is what happened. Oh, my God. I told Mr. Snack, all right? I went out one time when I saw him slither away and I stood out there and I was like, listen, Snack, you can stay outside the fence of this house in the bushes, in the whatever, as much as you want. But do not cross this threshold of this fence. Do not come back here because I cannot trust Puppy not to attack a Snack in the back gated area and I do not want to have to pry a giant black snake from puppy's face because one has turned and decided to bite her, even if they are not venomous. That is not something I want to do. And that is something I would have had to do if Mr. Snake continued to invite himself in on the other side of the gate. Now, outside the gate, that was fine. And there was lots of, uh, 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 what's it called? The uh, landscaping that they could hide in and live in. And it was all theirs, okay? Plenty of, pl like... I find Shayna argued the black snack was good for the ecosystem. I agree. Stay outside the pool. Now you might say, well, it's a snack. It doesn't understand you. Well, I'm just going to say this. I set the rule. Okay. Carl watched the house. I'm pretty sure the snack broke the rules and Carl enforced. He enforced the rules. And I think that he, he, he paid that debt with his life. That's, that's my version of the story, because that's what happened. Because I did see him a couple more times, and I was like, ah! And then, and then, so, and you know what? Carl was hooting and saying goodbye when we were at the Green's house, like, all the way till the end. So Carl survived. All right? Understood my, re uh, Mr. Snake understood my reasoning and left, or got eaten by Carl. I think the, the latter is more, more likely. Never know when I might need these. 
grab a little bit more life. Okay. Yeah, they're big. Oh no, that took a deadly turn. I'm telling you, man, nature's brutal. You watch nature for any amount of time at all, you are like, nature is brutal. Listen, I grew up in the woods and next to a guy that kept chickens. So a rooster was like a thing, like an actual thing for me. Um, and you watch nature, because nature watching is literally like, you know, sometimes there's not that much to do there. And nature watching is like your entertainment for the day. Literally sitting outside and just staring at the woods. You'd be amazed what you'll see. And if you sit there and be still long enough, animals and stuff, like, they do come around. You know? And we would do it often. And sometimes you see some, like, you know, foxes eating chickens and stuff. And rabbits. Enough. Birds. Hawks. Y'all, a, a, a freaking hawk tried to eat my parakeet. Tried to swoop down, like, like, the dove bomb out of the sky. My parakeet was in her cage in a window and the window had like wooden uh, whatever like cross you know it was like a I don't know how to explain it but it had it was glass and wood and it was only because it hit one of those little cross beams that it did not shatter the window. If it had hit the glass I'm pretty sure it would have. It shook the whole house when it hit the side of the house. It shook the whole, we were all like, what? And my parakeet, Sissy, was like in the bottom of her cage, fluffing, like fluttering her wings, going crazy. I'm like, oh my God, did something hit her? What happened, what happened? I ran over and looked out the window, looked down, and it was a hawk just laying there stunned. And I was like, oh my God. And by the time everyone ran to come and see it, it stood up, shook itself off, flew away. And I was like, oh my god, it was trying to eat her. She was like this little bright green morsel that this thing had spotted. Like, oh, damn. I moved her out of that window after that. So, like, yeah. Nature is brutal. Nature is brutal. 
Sissy! Yeah, Sissy! Sissy almost got attacked and eaten by a hawk. She'd be dead. She'd be dead! Wait, is there a metal flower here? Where? Under me? It's under me? It's under. Huh? Where do How do I get under the ground then? Explain that to me. That's crazy. Did I not get enough sausage trophies? How many do I have? Two. Oh, that makes sense. Kill two. Alright, one more. Come on. But now it's night time. I can't see shit. Huh? Is that a trap? Grazer, grazer, grazer. Is it over here? Is that it? Is that it? Over there? Way over there? What's that? Grazer, shit. What is it? I gotta get away from it. Is that a sawtooth site as well? It is. So there was only two in this area, so I gotta go to another one. Or do I? Is that one right there? Oh, damn. Is that one? Oh, that's a thing. No, no, no! Sissy did not have a treasure <laughs> <laughs> it hit the cr it hit the window. It didn't hit her. It hit the side of the house and knocked itself stupid and was laying there and then got up and flew away. And I moved Sissy out of the window. She she lived. She said the shit scared out of her. She did not die. Sissy actually actually had a pretty I think peaceful death death. She lived a long long life and I'm pretty sure just died of old age um, because she was old for a parakeet all right yeah no sorry sorry if you misunderstood that as sissy died she would have died she would have died listen if she escaped the house I always thought about that like what if she because I did not clip her wings and I did not keep her in her cage all the time. I opened the cage door and she flew around and sat on my shoulder and like chilled with me all day when I was home. Um, she was in the cage when I wasn't home, like at school or something but otherwise she was out and she flew and you know, people open and close the Save doors for the trail. it can happen pretty easily that, you know, she could have flown out potentially because she would she'd be buzzing around and I was like, man, if she escapes and flies away she is not going to survive long. She is bright green and yellow and just stands out and does not know how to survive in the wild at all. And then I saw that hawk try to eat her. It was crazy. Like, and it was huge. And just, yeah, hit the house so hard it shook the house. Like, it was insane. That's a stalker site. Damn, I don't want to go to stalker. Is that the only saw Ravager? Ravager, is it? No more down here? Ugh. I'm gonna have to go because I can't. There's only two in that side. Well, I'm gonna go get this tall neck then. Can I do that? Travel? No. Okay. Yeah. Onward! Where's my horsey? Oop! There we go. Come on. Let's go. Hold on. Oh. 
Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna eat the last macaroon. It's a little chocolate looking one. Mm. One moment. You had a chartreuse parakeet named Tweety. Oh, they might listen. Sissy was incredibly sweet, and I really did love her. Uh, God, it's so far, and she did live like I want to say like close to twenty years. the tall neck. It's rarely easy though. Oh god. But this is this one. When it's right by the road, I guess I'll get it. were like the other were like the parakeet equivalent slightly bigger and I always did like them a lot
Did I get all the sawtooth? Three out of three. Got it. And then Ravager. We gotta but I'm gonna climb this uh, I'm gonna climb this tall neck while I'm here, you know? I might as well. These guys are assholes. Chocobo, these chocobo looking machines. They are assholes. They are real assholes. Few minutes anyway. Yeah. Jesus. 
Let me try and see if I can jump on it up here. It is much more dangerous to travel at night. not just do that. Something else behind. Saved your life, though, lady. Oh, it's... Uh-huh. Hell yeah. 
it's some sort of component. Scared me. I'm alive. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, Nora. You're welcome. All right, I can set my blank inside. Is there something nearby? Let me go hit this one. It's not far, but I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna see if this boy. Oh, just sweet boy. I'm gonna see if he needs to go outside. Because it's important. We don't want any accidents. I gotta give him the opportunity. So that it's fair if I if I have to scold him, it's fair. It's because he really does have the opportunity. I don't want to scold him if it's my fault that he is not going outside. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I feel about it. Oh boy, what is that? Is that please don't tell me sawtooth. It's just worth it, guys, to light every single campfire, trust me. Something. What is that there? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, is it one of those things? The cauldrons? Is that a cauldron? I think it might be. Mm. But we gotta go north for the ravagers. We want the ravagers. So the furthest north I have is either that campfire or that campfire. I'm thinking maybe this campfire right on the edge of this desert wall here. So let's go here. The campfires and the travels. This map is big enough that it's actually worth it to use the fast travel. Shadow gotta give the boy, uh, gotta give the boy a chance to poop outside. Exactly. Exactly. Is there a merchant around here? Hello. I've seen this four times already. Hunt the boar. I can't spare uh it's it's getting there about half maybe slightly over half like this if you were cut it in half this way right here maybe like this I went up a little bit but I stopped this is the frozen wilds we ain't going up here not yet there's even stuff back here I want to you know hunting grounds we gotta go do like there's a lot to do and the edge the edge of these lands I may have explored but I won't say that I you know thoroughly finished them out collecting some of the flowers and vessels is hard like real hard but it's really worth it to collect the figurines and stuff because like the resources you get out of those are great oh and look, I missed a bandit camp down here. Yeah, see, there's a cauldron, whatever this is, a hunting ground maybe, something like that, and the bandit camp. I'll come back and do all those. The blue, um, vintage, and like there's a bunch up here, so I can do ravager. I may have to go to both, but field of the fallen is over here. We'll see. We'll go up. City of the Sun excavation site. Oh man, find Olin. Oh damn, Olin. Well, we'll see if we can. There's a lot going on here. Okay, break time. Give the boys a chance to poop time. I'm gonna go back to the fire because I like the ambiance of the fire. What I miss here? Oh. Just assemble resources. Really? I don't 
know what it's talking about, but we're gonna go chill by the campfire. Resources. No modifications. I know how to disassemble, but not the other. Set yourself on fire. I wish I could like set her to emote or something. There we go. Okay. Enjoy the crackling fire. Times already. Whatever that guy's saying. I'll be right back, everyone. Just a quick break. Weekends of gaming. And uh, yeah. One moment. Hate the carjack. But we work hard as any tribe. Sacrifice brought about this twilight. Our sun king must cleanse his father's sins. Why does the sun king let this drag on? He should kill his brother Eteman like he killed his father and be done with it. Eh, I've seen better. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Four times already. I prefer the one about the sun priest falling in love with the merchant's daughter. The sky's getting lighter. Dawn's coming. Eh, I've seen better. Standard. I love this bit. Time's already. Eh, I've seen better. Waste of time. The show was better last week. Oh, that's nice. Glad I stopped for a bit. I've seen this four times. Oh, wonderful.
Ah, waste of time. The show was better last week. Oh, you're in for a treat. It's quite a show. Four times already. Not a scrap of the old ones. Any work done under the sun warms you through the night. Oh, wonderful. the moon, I'm sure. Good to see you. Okay, I'm back. A boy is up. He's moving about. But he was more interested in my refilling of my crunch cup than anything else, I think, but... Why does King of Odd He did not poop. He did pee. But he usually doesn't poop right in the middle of the day. You know what I mean? Yes, boy. Wanna lay back down? Or are you too awake now? Had a little walk. Had a little walk, saw I got snacks. Not well as interested met. in sleeping right now. I have a horse. Damn it. Like, decent overall defense, but this is the upgraded Hunter Heavy. Whoa. This is cool, but I need, I'm, I'm missing a Bellow Back Heart. Can I buy a Bellow Back Heart? <laughs> Golden Pasture, what's this? What? Ten fatty meats and I can get that? Heck yeah. I am all about that.
That's it. No. Uh, no. Yeah, now I could use an upgrade in my armor. That's why I'm looking by. But this is the high one land I can get so far. Long leg heart, charger heart, bellow back heart. Damn, I want that. That's kind of cool. It's a corruption preventative one. Might not be a bad idea for these corruption zones. You know? It's heavy as well. It's kind of badass. I don't know, that's kind of awesome actually. What's this? A long leg of heart. I want that. A gambler's box, always. Need to get the modifications out of Oop. remove. Okay. Okay. Oh, I should look at the weapons too. Mm. zones that I've found so far have been cleared. I'm so square's here. Hello, I'm so square. How are you? Heavy lifter, but because I don't, I mean, I occasionally use these um, big heavy weapons, but not always. I don't know, but I need it to get concentration plus, which increases the maximum duration of concentration. You see, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Hold on, one moment, everyone.
I'm back. I've got a boy who's trying to be nosy. Well, hi, RJ City's catchphrase. No. No, it is not. No, it is not. I'm pretty sure I said well, hi, first. And, uh, and he returned the well, hi. Pretty sure I said well, hi, first. But we both do say it. The one about the sun priest falling in love with a merchant star. Don't bother me, Outlander. I don't need a mercenary. I need a miracle. Someone who can tell me who slaughtered my men. Well, I'm a good tracker. Maybe I can help. What happened? Mass murder. Oh, That's no. what. Five night guards shredded like cabbage out there in the quarry. Five men murdered? How? We gotta find don't out know. how. One was a buddy from before the liberation. We worked this quarry together as slaves for the Mad King. My friend, may he walk forever in the light, knew how to fight. Fiends who did this must have had stealth or numbers. Well, or both. Could machines have killed them? Don't see how. The quarry is fenced and gated, and I've never seen a glint hawk do anything like this. Anything strike you as strange or out of the ordinary? Well, let's see, uh... Oh, yeah! Chunks of corpses, gushing blood. <sighs> Sorry. Pressure's getting to me. Not used to murder. Nah, no, nothing unusual. Well, except we've been doing a little blasting lately. And Saravad said... No, that's just stupid. You've been using explosives? Sure! Clear away bedrock and get to the good stuff. We do it for a week or so every year. But that's got nothing to do with the dead. They were torn apart, not blown up. This is like a this is like a Bigfoot storyline almost. What exactly did Saravad say? Ah, nothing. Kept babbling about a pile of rocks out there. Said he didn't remember it from yesterday. I told him that this here is a quarry where we move rocks all day. So rocks getting moved ain't so surprising, lunkhead. Okay, I'll look around. Yes, I'm bribing him with cereal. I'll have a look around the quarry. If you think it'll help. I've seen this four times already. Blood on the stone. Blood on the tracks. Blood in the mine. Old 97. What's this rest of the song? Uh. <laughs> The Folksmen are one of my favorite bands of all time. And and Blood on the Tracks is one of their best songs. And it's a real song. And they are a real band. I don't care what anyone says. Here we go. And let's investigate the quarry. This seems interesting, you know? I think this seems pretty interesting. Is there a thing I can ride down? or Nope, that's a way to die right there. Need an elevator. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't know if it would necessarily get around that she is a seeker. Especially not in these new lands, Sussy, because if she hasn't been there, I mean, her reputation preceded her a little bit in Meridian, I guess. But the Nora were the ones that anointed her seeker. 
And <laughs> she only validates that by going places uh, and, you know, being a badass. So if she's not been there, if, I don't know. The Nora don't really get out that much, so they ain't going to tell anybody. What's in here? I have a small Orson boy in my lap, y'all. He's precious. Blaze. Exactly. Enough for quite a blast. Yeah. Examine the mounds. This one. Am I gonna have to fight something? It's gonna be crazy. That's odd. What's this mound doing here? Oh, oh god. You don't look. You don't look, it's not there. Nope, it's there. Oh my god, look at it. It's crazy. What's its weakness?
rock breaker. Amazing. Fire coil. Oh man. Let's go. Great work. And I didn't even use all of my medicinal herbs and berries. I need to find a lot more though. I use a lot of them, that's for sure. Yep. Well, they weren't kidding. They had a serious problem down there. Uh, where's the path? How do I get the path? There it is. But they've been fi it's been fixed. That's that was just like a side quest. seen a machine like that whoa nor a hunter so bold take this it's from the quarry stores but no one's gonna argue that you don't deserve it sweet may you walk in the light friend especially when dealing with what comes up from the ground that's nice glad i stopped for a bit i got a remarkable reward box let's see what's in it New machine though in my rock breaker. Ooh. Stalkers are also just awful. Oh, that's nice. Glad I stopped for a bit. Merchant has real quick, cause I need an upgrade in my armor. Survivor heavy. Ooh, I can do it. Survivor heavy. I like that. Or Osram arrow breaker studded. Wow, she looks kind of crazy. No. Wow. Studded leather and hammered steel protect the wear. No, wait. You stay there, boy. You, do you have a hair on you? Uh -uh. Wait. Survivor heavy. I like it. It's the I like the the status effect. And we're gonna equip it. Equip. Yep. And then we'll wait.
anything for sale. And I don't... I can't afford new weapons now. I should have... Maybe get that one. That would still be an upgrade. It'd be a big upgrade. All right, let's fix these one. These new things I got first. Modify. So it's already got good status effect protection, but let's look at our purple uh, ones and see what we got. Resist melee, resist fire, and stealth. That's pretty epic. much a stealth outfit. Sassy says, thank you for your channel, your time, and your dedication to every stream and video. I really appreciate all of it. Well, thank you, Sassy. That is very kind of you to say. I appreciate that. Orson appreciates that, as you can see. Actually, guys, you can't see Orson and how cute he's being right now. He is all snuggled up in my arms. The new armor looks cool. I think so, too. I think it looks really, really cool. That's what I'm saying. I needed an upgrade, man. We were and getting is getting dangerous. But this is a pretty high level stealth with some good overall status effect protection. I think it's a, I think it's good. My weapons could use... Eh, they're okay. I need an upgraded sling, though, for sure. Like, big, big time. It's fine that women are arriving in the Hunter's Lodge. It's all those savages I don't like. That's rude. Great day for getting things done. That's very rude. They don't need to be rude about it. Okay. Orson B. Borson is a mama's boy. He is. He's all snow up in my lap. It's so sweet. Orson B. Borson. Orson B. Borson. Orson B. Borson now. Oh god. <sighs> Fell. Orson B. Borson. Probably probably should have bought more uh potions. I regret that. Who knows? You're on fire. You're on fire. And oh, the third one got away. Okay, it's fine. Many arrows can the bow hold? There, right there, you see 37 out of 60 of each type. 39 out of six, like uh, so, up to 60 of each type, and I can hold three different types. Quick save. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Whack.
Forget about traveling light. Let's see if I can do any of this. Crafting. Oh, oh. No. Dang. So close. Or this. changing. The sun's going down. How's it going, Frank? How are you? Let's get the this thing first. Oh, look at those. What are those satellites? Remains of satellites? Rings of metal? They call them something like that. Sabertooth says I was gonna, or I'm gonna take a nap. Good, good. I was unceremoniously woken up. Thanks for the stream. As always, Jess, you are welcome. See you on Monday. Honk, honk, honk. I appreciate you, Sabertooth. Thank you so much, man. Have a wonderful rest of your day. This boy is trying to get comfortable. We got long legs over here. Long legs.
Keep that for later. You want to do it again? Can I have that paw? Can I have that paw? What a nice... Oh, nobody can see that paw. Let's do this again. Let's do this again. Let's do it again. I want to see a good paw. Paw! Yay! What a good paw! They could kind of see. You could kind of see it, couldn't you guys? Now it's a good boy. Now you need to like, lay down and be a good boy. You gotta lay down and be a good boy. Thank you. Lay down. Bugs Bunny teeth. He's like, mm hmm. He's so smart. He is. Good boy. Lay down. That's a good boy. What a nice boy. You get a treat for dad. Good sit. This is what I want. Yeah, you'll stay here for me, won't you? My niece is hanging out down here, guys, and she has some snacks on, uh, like, low where he could get them. But they are on a plate, and they are bagged up, and they should not be something that he should easily be able to get. And so I'm, give, I'm training him some self-control, and he's doing a very good job, aren't you, boy? He was wanting to sleep, but then he started getting restless because he wanted to get up. Uh-uh. Focus. Orson. Focus. Good focus. Good boy. That's what we train you to do. You good boy. You good boy. Lay down. Lay down. Good boy. Good boy. He's the best boy. For later. You are the best boy. Best boy. Hey, Hostile what's up? spotted. Who are you? What me? Who are you? Who are you? I didn't I thought these were friendly. Ah. Friendly? <laughs> uh-uh, boy. You need to come back over here. No, sir. Come here, Orson. Come here, Orson Wellington. Come here. Don't make me come get you. You're gonna get in trouble, boy. Get over here. Yeah, come here. Be a good boy. Come sit. Sit. Come sit. Good boy. Good boy. You gotta wait. Be a good boy. Paul. Good paw. I may need to readjust the camera so when he does tricks, you guys can really see how just how good it is. Come over here. Wait. Wait. You know wait. Wait. Paw. Oh. <laughs> Look at that paw. Look at that paw. Here you go. Youngest. Youngest. Tie five. Now wait. You know wait. Lay down. I know you know it. If you hang out and you're a good boy, you will you will be no sir. Hang out. Lay down. Lay down. Go on. There we go. You got to learn control, boy. You got to learn control. 
you do so good sometimes. And then other times, you kind of lose your mind. Relax, relax, relax. Come here. Lay down. Lay down. There you go. Lay down. Good boy. Lay down. Oh, that was a good boy almost. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. One more. That's a good boy. Let's see yeah. how long it lasts. Oh my god. Oh. Good boy. I know. He's hard. Life's hard. Life's hard. It is. It's hard being a puppy. Orson. Orson Wellington. Orson Wellington. Orson Wellington. Orson Wellington. Hi, boy. Orson Wellington. And Orson Wellington. This is the song I sing when I'm pampering him. He knows that song. I, I hold him, put his little wrinkle cream on, wipe his little face. How do I get in here? Lay down, boy. Lay down, boy, best boy. Yeah, lay down. You lay down? Lay down. Full already. Dang. Gonna sniff his bugs a little bit. This is the best boy. <laughs> you doing good, Orsi boy? Lay down. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Lay down. Good sit. Here. Good boy. Lay down. This is what you intend to bring these ancient things back to life. Their power serves us. Machine demons from beneath the ground. It's a nightmare. Nightmares, yes, the worst dreams of our enemies come true. Yes, rise. Oh boy. I'm not gonna have to fight this thing. will destroy us all they will only destroy our enemies and bring us back the lands that were ah! oh, man. Ah! Ah! stop working uh -oh. we may have intruders yeah we do forgive this intrusion Aloy oh. you left me no choice who's calling on my focus <sighs> who is this an interested party now, the focuses are disabled, but I don't know for how long. The rest is up to you. Who is this? Who is, who is this? Orson. Orson be Orson, look what I got. Sit. Now give me that paw. What a good boy. What a good paw. Mmm. Have this. How, oh gosh, how cute is this little face? Oh my god. Sometimes I hold the treat extra long so that he can, it's just cute. Look at him. Now he thinks I got something. I don't have anything else for him. Got nothing else for you. Nothing. <laughs> yes. 
Ella's having to uh, ward off. This is good though. He's being a lot more calm about it now because he knows he's not supposed to. So he's not being completely psycho about it. Do not leave it alone, boy. You can do whatever else you want. But <laughs> there's a look, boy, is a lucky charm. Orson, you want this? Huh? Come here. Boy. He's like, just no kisses, baby. Kisses? No, baby. Orson Wellington, get over here. He's also just excited to see Ella. Like, he does, but he's not, he's doing it to get to the snacks. I don't even think there's any snacks you can get, boy. Good stuff is coming. Now lay down. If you lay down, it will be rewarded. Ah! You're not rewarded then. JJK is playing Zomboid. Are you going to play on my server? I said, is there e even anything for him to get now? There's literally nothing. He's just sniffing then. You're nosy. You're a nosy boy. Yeah, lay down. Right here. You don't lay down. You used to do it all the time. Oh man, I hate these scorpion ro robots. I'm not a fan of them. What's their weakness? Fire.
will survive, she says. The server is hard. It's, it's, I mean, it's hard because water and power is off. It's later in the year. Like, these seem like small things, but they are not. They are not small things. The good news is, you don't have to do the stupid helicopter attack. You're a good guy. You're Olin. This will come in handy. Oh, there's Olin. Poor Olin. He didn't want to have to do any of this. <coughs> oh god, I thought that had killed me. I've been so upset. Orsi. Hear me, I promise. I'll tell you everything. I know you will. Damn, she said, I know you will. What? The killers who came for me at the Proving, who are they? Mm -hmm. The Eclipse. Some kind of holy warriors. A cult of the Shadow Karja. Shadow Karja? Except they're not like any Karja I've known. They don't pray to the sun. They worship some kind of devil. I'm not interested in their superstitions. Oh, it's not a superstition. Their devil is real. It has a name, a voice, the most terrible voice, and they do its bidding. You say this devil, the Eclipse Worship, has a name? Hades. That's what they call it. Hades. And you've heard it speak? Steal to my soul. I heard just once when it saw you. Such a voice. A cold. Awful jangle, it scrapes your bones, it hollows your guts. A metal sound, 
but like nothing dug from the earth or smelted in a forge. And what did it say? System threat detected. Oh no. Just three words. But in the voice of a devil. What are these Eclipse cultists after, besides me? They never said. But given the Karja civil war, they must want to overthrow Sun King of Odd and take Meridian back. What do I have to do with that? I don't know. When they attacked the Proving, a man came for me. Tall, strong, dead eyes. Healers. And who is he? The Terror of the Sun. Stacker of corpses, we Osram called him, when he was the Mad Sun King's champion. <sighs> if only he'd died with his king. Mm -hmm. But now he leads the Eclipse. I tell you, he's the most dangerous man alive. How did the Eclipse recruit you? I know they took your family hostage, but why you? I was a scrounger, a rummager in dark places, good at what I do. I suppose they knew I would serve them well as a scout. I had taken a delve near Maker's End. When I surfaced, they were waiting. I laughed when I saw the priest, but then he showed me Helis' encouragement. I didn't laugh after that. They gave me a focus to watch my every move. I followed orders. You had access to Meridian. Why didn't they get to Aval through you? Well... Too much dirt under my nails for an audience with the one true Sun King. But whatever Ursa or Aaron told me, the Eclipse heard every word through my focus. That's why I couldn't warn you. If I'd tried, they would have killed my family. It's true, man. I feel bad for him in that way. Why are the Eclipse digging up ancient machines? And how do they get them to work? I thought they wanted them for scrap, but they brought them back to life. Plugged some kind of device into the corpses so that Hades could whisper to them and call them from their grave. I've fought that kind of machine before. Are there others? Yes. The ones you fought today they call Corruptors, but there are others. Much bigger, bristling with ancient weapons. Those they call Deathbringers. I've only seen them bigger than the what ground, I fought already after today God. anything is possible sounds to me like they're raising an army if so the world will fall and I helped dig the pit he, at least he knows he's you know wrong the eclipse were sent to kill me because I look like another woman older maybe twice my age short hair who is she I don't know. My focus found her image once, in the ruins at Maker's End. Maybe you can find her there. You found her image in the ruins? How? There was a door beside it, a kind of ancient device that contained the woman's image. My focus recorded the location. You do look like her. Is she your mother? I'm the one asking questions. Time to judge you. I've heard enough. It's time to finish this. Boy. I won't beg for my life. But if there's any mercy in you, free my family. Aww. Please. I'll help Where him. Where find them? My focus recorded the location. I ain't gonna kill him. There Why would I kill him? There are always guards there. This poor guy's just doing his best, man. You look like you can handle yourself. Redeem yourself! It will take many good deeds to make up for the crimes you've committed. You're sparing me? After all I've done? Yes. Forge a new life, Olin. One of better make. No. And the rest of my life will be lived in Good your boy. dead. Go to the place where Good your family boy. is being held and wait for me. We'll make their lives the first ones you save. I didn't earn this mercy, but I will die to make myself worthy of it. I will be waiting for you. You're doing good, boy. Get over here. Get over here. That's good, boy. There's good, Bubba. There's good, Bubba. Nope, and it's gone. Whoa. Corruptors are no joke either, Not man. too much already. And I got no more health. Hunter's Lodge. Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm right next to where I needed to be. Yeah. Well, then let's hit this campfire. Let me find the way out, though. Uh, it's this way, I think.
It has been. I'll help you. <laughs> he thought I was going to say, I don't want to help you. But I did not. I'm definitely playing like a good Aloy run. She's very kind, compassionate, understanding. She's a good one. This is a good Aloy. You could play a bit more of an intense Aloy, I think. I mean, I think she's always good, but definitely she can be more intense. Ready or not. Normally I get jipped on that. Okay. Keep going right here. Come on over here and have a word. Hey, come on, what are you waiting for? I'm looting, Aaron. Don't rush me. What, you don't feel like talking? No, it's not it at all. What are you doing out here all alone? God, my armor's Where awesome. Where are your men? I'm not gonna risk their lives. I don't mind putting my worthless ass on the line, but not theirs. Sorry I had to drag you into it. Uh, don't worry. This is just an average day for me. You know, take down some machines, track some killers. Right. It's true. I'd hate to see a busy morning for you. Ready to get started? Tell me exactly what happened to Ursa. Start from the beginning. No one knows for sure. She left in the middle of the night with a few of her best men. Her best men? But she didn't bring you? No. I'd been drinking a lot. Or maybe she thought... Uh, damn, I don't know. I couldn't hack it. Ah. Search parties found their bodies the next day and the corpses of some shadow carja cowards. It was an ambush. The shadow carja are animals. Yep. They're horrible. They, they beat her so bad we can't even show her face before burial. I'm so sorry, Erd. <laughs> yeah, well, when I find the soldiers who did this, they'll be sorry too. Uh, do I need to worry? Are you sure you're all right? Well, I'm sober, so no. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're thinking straight at least. Don't get used to it. You don't have any idea why she left in the middle of the night? No. But it must have been urgent. A message, a report of some new Shadow Karja threat, I don't know. Why would the Shadow Karja do this? Because they hate us. And Ursa most of all. They mad about losing their She teamed their up with Avad king. to kick their asses out of Meridian. They've been licking their wounds for two yeah. years, but... They finally found a way to get back at her. 
Even if they're a small group, they can still cause a lot of damage. All right. Show me where Ursa fell, and I'll do what I can to help. Come on, follow me. Follow, follow me. Have I told Ella that the chat are big fans of hers and wish her the best of becoming a world famous singer? Oh, she's got her AirPods in, so she didn't hear that at all. It's okay. I'll let her know, Type 5. She's got AirPods in. She's got things to listen to, okay? But I'll pass the message along. Why would Ursa come all the way out here? She's definitely going to become a world famous singer. It doesn't make sense. You guys saw the national anthem when she sung it. It was amazing. Is this Shadow Karja territory? No. They broke the ceasefire as soon as they set foot in the cliff. Mm. Hold on. I finally did get one of those, huh? mount repair. Let's do mount repair. My build is pretty balanced with emphasis in prowler, but most of all forager, which makes sense for me. Survivalist, that's me, you know? Oh my god, you guys, I cannot wait for HZD in VR. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be insane. I guess I did get a vessel. I don't really remember where I grabbed it. I hate them! She definitely will. See, and Pep is on board as well. Yeah, man. She sung me to tears. And I'm not just... I don't think I'm just biased. I think uh, it's, like, legit. I watched her perform in her first hey, opera. This is it. This Where the ambush happened. Our soldiers have been over it, but maybe that... Fancy artifact of yours can you find a clue or something. Please. I need to find the bastards that did this. I'm here to help you, man. I'm on board with it. I'm due for a break. I'm due to take this boy on a run outside. I'm just he peed, he was good, and he's look at the good boy. He's finally showing restraint and not harassing for food. That's my good boy. Can't be now that you've prepared. settled down, boy, I kinda wanna just sit here. Oh wait. Are they making it in VR? Yes, they are. Isn't that crazy? Those bloodstains are not the kind of pull around a corpse. They look like smears. smears. Ew. A shadow card just spear. Yep. It's perfectly sharp. Never seen action. What's that mean? These look like drag marks. Did someone move a body through here? Maybe. What do you see there? This stain forms a line. As if blood dripped off the edge of something. Like a cart. See? Cart tracks. I think someone moved the bodies here, then scattered them across the field. Wait, are you saying the dead found here were killed somewhere else? But why would the Shadow Karja do that? At this point, I'm not taking it for granted that the Shadow Karja are responsible. Of course they were. Well, let's follow these tracks and find out. Let's follow these tracks and find out.
use the track? Got it, right? These are the tracks. I was wrong. He's not. He's he's back to begging. So I'm gonna make him go outside. I'm gonna take a quick save. Quick save. No, just pause. We're gonna pause because it's safe. There we go. I'm gonna take a real quick break so I can use the restroom, take this boy outside, clean up my desk area. So give me like five minutes, y'all, if that's okay. If you haven't yet, this would be a great time to like the video because we're almost to 100 likes. I would appreciate it. I would appreciate the support. It's really the only thing I ask of anyone watching to do. And you can do it whether you're a member, subscriber, or not subscribed at all. Although you should be subscribed. I would like to hit 30,000 subscribers by the end of this year. It's January. I think that's a modest goal. And if we continue our current level of growth, we should be able to hit it, I would think. Okay? Uh, so help me get there, guys. And I'm going to continue playing in just a moment. But, but not yet. Five minutes. Uh, thank you.
and I'm back. And I'm back. Can you guys hear Nixie and Trank losing their minds upstairs? Which one? Which opera? It was a mall and the night visitors. That was the opera. She sang in an opera. It was a real production, and she was supposed to sing in Othello this, uh, like, early this year. I forget when it was supposed to be. It was, like, late January, early February. I think was the timeline. And it got canceled. It was sad. She had a much bigger part in Othello, too, but it just got postponed. It didn't get canceled. It got postponed. Thank you for the weeby. Grace, appreciate that. Oh, we can uh, activate a campfire. Campfire, activate. <laughs> activate. Mm, my cauliflower ear is hurting. Uh, I wish it didn't, but it does. Long. See, we're at hour four. That's what happens. My ear, my ears start to suffer. I get why they wanted Ursa dead. Wife of the ambush. There's more to this, and we're gonna figure it out. Oh my god, I got him. I'd have to ditch something. These guys aren't Shadow Karja. They're from my tribe, the Asaram. Is this how your people usually greet each other? Oh no! Why are they attacking us? I thought they were your friends! Wait. Oh, It just barely missed his head. Uh-oh. What's that? What's what? I think it's calling in machines. Get oh. ready. Oh boy, great, great, great. Oh, oh, come 
they can destroy rocks? What? They are so smart, man. They do not jump all willy-nilly into the machine or into the traps. They are really good, actually. Asaram, not Shadow Karja. Looks like I was wrong about everything, as usual. Please, use that second sight of yours. I have to know what really happened. I'm on it. We gotta use the second sight. Look around. So much blood. Blood? What about the blood? A lot of people died here. Oh. A massacre. Great. Trophy also. Oh, I got it. <laughs> okay. Can I pick this back up? Those rocks were shattered. Something hit these stones. Something I've never seen before. Weird. What else? Right, we got the massacre. We got weird rocks. What else? What other clues are there? What are those leather straps? Mm. Armor straps. Cut with a knife. And a rock with blood on it. Weird rocks. What else? These look like Vanguard. There's no blood on them. Versus men didn't fight back. Weird. Like you could mount some equipment on that thing. Mm -hmm. There, by the tripod. A used power cell. Ursus helmet. Uh oh. I thought she died in the field below, but must have been here. All this trickery. For what? Feels like it's just a torch of me. I have a theory, but it takes a little imagination. So far, your theories are better than other people's facts. All right. I think the Asaram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it. On that tripod up there, it fires waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracked the stone there. 
I think it paralyzes people instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. No blood on their weapons. No fight. Then why paralyze them if you're only gonna move them and gut them? They were trying to hide something. Look here, a bloody rock. That they used to smash Ursa's face. Ugh. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut. As if they took the armor off someone. Uh, that, that can't be. Her body is, is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. You said she was unrecognizable. Maybe they switched another body into her armor. Someone around the same size. And mutilated it enough. So it could have been anyone. Even Ursa. She's alive. Go back to Meridian. Take another look at that body. If it's really Ursa, of course I'm wrong. But if I'm right... Then, then my sister could be alive. I, I, I'm going. Meet me back there when you can. What a good story so far. So we'll go back at some point to meet Erend in the palace. It's a long way to get there. But before we go back, let's go to the fork in the road to finish this Robin the Rich quest. Right here. It was just way out here, so I had to wait. Chill, Bata. I'm happy his sister might be alive. I had forgotten that. It's such a great game. We say it every stream, every single stream. What a great game this is. Oop, come on. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm bad, I'm bad at hunting. I can't believe I missed it. Oh my god. Don't you fall. Oh my god, I was about to be like. We gotta find a safe way down. <sighs> that does not look like a safe way down. Aaron, Aaron is a good person. I like him too. He was a little flirtatious at first, which I thought was kind of weird. I'm like, don't be weird. Don't be weird. You know, don't be weird. Is this a shortcut? I think it might be, y'all. Ride the rock slide down. Take the shortcut. That's right. We did it. Oh yeah. Ugh, the scrapes. Ow. Nobody, nobody likes scraping. Any fishies? Oh, come on, I'm hitting it. There.
fish are the main one first thing I've really felt like it was good to tag it. Got you. Got you. Got you. See? I can actually hit him. Can't kill anymore. So many epic battles. I guess that's what you get if you're gonna do the hunter quest stuff, you know. Them soon enough. A fork. This must be where Nassan was supposed to check in. Can we do traditional fishing in the game? At, not at my current place in the game. What's what's here? What's at this quest? Investigate the camp. Investigate the camp. Okay. okay. Oh, there's the person. What's up with this guy? Hello. They said there were some Banuk living in the mountains that were friendly with machines. I think that's what I just found right there. Oh, right here. Clues. It looks like there was a scuffle here. If someone dragged this on off, there should be tracks. Follow the tracks. All right. Oh, here we are. Let's see where they went. Strider area. Maybe I can get myself a new mount. Oh my god, I got no more blaze, y'all. <gasps> I've used all my fire arrows. I gotta kill more. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need the blaze. Sorry. Should have brought a cart. When, why wouldn't it? I thought I was Nothing. low on blades. Sorry, guys. I completely misunderstood what was happening here. Yeah. The Shadow Carja post. Oh, boy. Let's hope Nassan is inside. Does this mean I need to fight them? This is gonna be crazy. How do I not have blades? I do. I have so much I can't even hold it all. Sparker, metal. No, I do. I know 
I do? It won't let me. It wouldn't let me loot it. <gasps> Cause I'm full. Oh my god. I see. I see. I see. Okay. 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 Then this is what we gonna do. Ones that I have a lot, a lot of. Okay. Disassemble multiple. Oh man, I was really misinterpreting that. Just a multiple. But we got it now. This one too. Did you get all your laundry done today? Oh. Well, whatever. Yeah, that still works. Huh? Now, let's loot the blade. Now, I was, like... It wasn't that I was full on blades. I was full on everything. I need to I increase the size of my pouches. Oh, 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 what am I doing? Uh, these are enemies, not friendlies. Let not friendlies. Ah! Ah! And I don't have a way to make any more uh, fire arrows. to work just fine. Lightsaber. I 
I could sense it. I could sense your laundry. High five. I got a bunch of laundry to fold as well. So, I feel you on that. So I'm gonna go a little bit longer, but not too much longer. Cause we get up for gaming. They've got Nissan, all right. He needs help. Let's try this again. I'll keep it simple since you're obviously feeble. What were you doing out by the fork? It was a picnic with your mother. Oh my god. Uh, I think he's smack. trying to hurt your feelings. Won't work. My mother loves a good picnic. Be that Can a... I... Huh. Oh my god. Oh, 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 that one. Oh, that one. Oh wow. You can just do it like that. I didn't even realize. Oh boy. To this guy. Kinji, you've sent me. Let's get you out of here. I thought that old salt had abandoned me. <laughs> Not today. Yes, I'll a slap on the back. Come on, this way. All right, follow this guy. Oh, well, that's convenient. Ooh. Down here, I'm assuming. Come on. Too prepared. Can be too prepared. Live, live, live. What, now, what now, bud? Kindy, you've told me about the cause. Did you lose the shipment? No. It's hidden nearby. There's a lot of hungry people in Sunfall that will be happy to see it. Good. Now, listen. When you head back to Meridian, talk to a noble named Ravon. If you're honest with him, I think he'll help. Beg a high blood for help? 
But after everything you've done, I can't refuse. But for now, I'm bound for Sunfall. Be safe. We did it. Quest complete. Oh, no. Nope. Gotta return to something, 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 something. Down here. But are there any other quests up here that I have not gotten to? Not really. A lot of undiscovered stuff. But we'll be back. You know, we know it's not gonna... It's not going anywhere. Meet Aaron at the Palace of the Sun. Or... What's this one? Go to the Spur. What's this? Quest. Return to Raven. It's a side quest. Show on map. Where's it at? Here. Is there anything else here? Deliver the trophies. Okay, good, good. We can return here and we can deliver the trophies. Love it. Perfect. Let's go. Travel. Travel. Yeah. Having Monday off somehow made the week feel longer and your laundry seemed like double. Why is that? Man, did you guys see what the UK is doing a four-day work week? I think that should become a thing. And and a lot of studies have proven that you're actually more productive when you do that. And I wish that we would all adopt it. <laughs> Ella agrees and says, yes, we need a four-day work week. And I, that goes for school, too. Like, I think, and this, like, getting up at the crack of dawn, to, you know, is just insane, man. You want people to be productive. And turn into productive adults, but you don't set them up to do so. I don't know about that, man. So. I mean, I, I, that's not true. I got a lot of stuff. Sell it. Sell it. Chill water can go as well. No, no, no. Sell it. There we go. Sell the Ridgewood. It's fine. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, what do we got? Let's go to buy weapons. Sharp shot bow, shadow sling. I think I, uh, no, I see. What's the top? Oh, no, 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 so. Okay, dang it, bye. Weapons, that one. What don't I have? A lance horn heart. I need a lance horn heart. What's that? Close range bolt gun. Oh, wow, that's, and it, you just literally need a boar skin? Are you serious right now? Oh my God, can I buy that? Light upgrade to my sling, which is probably a good idea. Let's just do that. Equip it here. And then let's always use things. modify our Remove. And then modify. 
keep it pretty, you know. So we got freeze, shock, and fire with this sling. And so we can, oh, well, I kind of want that. Oof, oof. We want this one. And we want, oh man, that one. So that's 60% handling with a freeze bonus. 48% handling with a shock bonus. Freeze, shock, is there fire? Is there something with purple? Oh, oh, it is. Oh my god. Or, no, we should save that one for my bow. Let's see if I can. Fire. That's just fire and damage. Maybe that's. Shadow Carja murdered her. The hunter's logic is Let's see what this guy has to say. Does tradition? A man named Nassan came to see me, and we came to an arrangement. Ooh. I think many in Sunfall will benefit from it. Okay. All this from a stolen sword. Yep. As they say, follow the shadow, and you'll find a flame. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, did I just level up again? Come on. I bet I will when I turn in these trophies. That's Aaron's, but let's do this first. Deliver the trophies. Oh, we're so close to leveling up. Oh my god. You? <gasps> Whoa. We need some supplies after getting rid of so much. Oh! Damn, I cool. Okay. Uh, do I have any of these? Oof, special mod box. No. No. That can be sold though. So can that, so can that. room as I can reasonably make. Lots of traps left over, but that's fine. All right, now let's go deliver the trophies. Deliver the trophies. Hunting lodge trophies. This is what we started the stream with. 
was going after these trophies and then the chick remember she was like go get the things and i'll shut him up well that's what we're gonna do because they're not very nice in the lodge not very nice at all and so we're gonna teach them a lesson Why not, Ty Five? People say four day work week wouldn't work. Oh, we need. You can't just be closed today. Why can't you just stagger it? And your work week is uh, Monday through Thursday. And then you have those days off. And then someone else's work week is Friday through uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Oh, and then, and then you're staggered. And then instead, and stop being so freaking cheap and have two people do the job to work that schedule. So that one person doesn't have to be worked to freaking death. It's not a matter of everybody needs to close and nothing needs to happen on those days and everybody needs three day weekends. No, no, no. We can still have 24 hour stores. We can still have, you know, you know, 24 hour Walmarts going. Absolutely. Hire, make these corporations hire more people and pay them, pay the employees properly and give them the time off. I thought I told you. I'm here to present trophies to the Sunhawk of the Lodge. Three sawtooths, two ravagers, and a stalker for good measure. I suppose Talana helped you with this. I brought these down myself. Will you accept them? Fine, yes. <laughs> I accept them. That's right. But tell Talana she should stop playing with sludge if she wants to get red maw. Talana, hello. Now we leveled up, baby. Let's go. See? When I gave him my trophies, Assi said you should be spending more time finding Red Maw than helping me. That bunghead isn't wrong. But there isn't time to find Red Maw right now. You're gonna help with something else. What? Oh. Don't be telling me what and I'm what doing. What might that be? Meet me outside. Meet me outside. Meet me, meet me outside. What are we doing? Level 30! Hell yeah. Love it. What up? You wanna help? Here's someone who needs it. Go ahead, Ilsadi. I live in Lone Light, northeast mm -hmm. of here. I barely escaped because glint hawks attack anyone who ventures out. Oh, damn. We have so few shards. Will you help? We have nowhere else to turn. Sometimes members receive an honorarium for the hunt. Asi should have accepted this one, but he refused. The price was too low. Wow. How generous. In the past, I would have gone with Takas to handle this. But what say you and I take it on? I'll meet you at Lone Light. What about Red Maw? Are you in or not? All right. I'll meet you there as soon as I can. Like, fine. Hell yeah. New hunter quest, baby. Now, the last one here. Oh, wait. In town. Aha. We're going to meet Erend back at the palace. And we will have wrapped up a lot of the quests that we started. We've upgraded our equipment. We've done amazing work today. And we are nearing the end of the stream, but I want to speak to Aaron about moment his of sister. Your time, Outlander? Who knows what's going to happen? I can't actually remember. No spoilers, by the way, if you've played this game. I've played this game. I beat this game. And I actually don't really remember, uh, what was it, 2017 we said? It was like four years ago. I don't really remember what happened. All right, so no spoilers. Some people are watching this for the first time. Let's all just enjoy it. What's up, dude? Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Mirage. They give themselves the weirdest me. names. You're needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. Unpleasant. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine oh, tamer. I get to meet the Sun King? For detail. It's oh, all damn, y'all. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. First 
the Oseram get special treatment, and now outlanders from the savage east? I wish they wouldn't also be so rude. Cause the sun came out of her. They're so rude. Outlander woman, unacceptable. I've been here two hours, and this Nora goes to the front of the line. Yeah, well, I get to skip the line. Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. <laughs> I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. Huh? Are we riding an elevator? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Ah. Uh ah. -huh. Uh -huh. Aloy of Take the Nora. Take it off. Take the focus she off. She who sees the unseen. Oh my god, take the Welcome. focus off. It's stuck. It would seem you have done me a great service. I can't see him. Errand, tell her what you found. All right, well, whatever. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. Oh my god. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken. Not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Oseram. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Durval. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Oseram had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliffe. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Oseram. But I could send a few vanguards, man. Freaking focus, man. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well? Sure, Sun King. You seem nice. Errant, Murat. Let me discuss it with her privately. I wish I could take my freaking focus off! I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. There we go. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. Who is Durval, exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve... well, everything. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife Oh my and god. Daughter, and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. So, why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. Oh my goodness. Then she came to me. Together, we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asuram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies. I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. I was wrong. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. Aloy's so pretty. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. Well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. 
You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. Your politics seem very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too? I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans in the claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime. Right. Holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Well, we gotta get this fortress then. Like him, they care only for domination. And seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. Okay. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Erend if you have further questions. Do it another day. That's when I need to hit before I go up there. Oh yeah. That's when I need to hit before I go up there. But again, I will have to do them. And let me find a place to save, like save, hard save. Where's somewhere close? Here. I want that. And then let's travel here. Save at the campfire. Hard save. Big time save. Boom. All right. That is all today, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me on a lovely Saturday morning slash afternoon stream. It's my favorite thing to do. Hang out. It's cold. I got to sit with my blanket in my lap like an elderly and play my video games and, and just enjoy hanging out my, with my community. You guys are incredible. You are very welcome. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your watch time. Thank you for liking this video. We hit 100 likes, which I really appreciate. It lets me know things are still, you know, I haven't lost any momentum, I guess is what I'm saying. While we had a little bit of a uh, schedule change and adjustments. I hope you guys are enjoying it. The evening streams during the week. Some nice uh, 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 long streams on the weekends. I will not be streaming tomorrow, most likely. I will... Uh, potentially be posting a video though at the very least but if not you should guys should check out RJ City's channel um, watch the videos of he and I playing some Sea of Thieves some Streets of Rage some Serious Sam some old retro games Duke City plays are uh, have a long have a long history and we continue to play many games Sea of Thieves currently is on, on what's on deck but um, so I might be doing some of that. But I will be back streaming on Monday in the evenings. 
So, thank you guys. I appreciate you all. I look forward to seeing you in the next stream. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Remember to stretch, stay hydrated, uh, get out in the sun, five minutes faces, hands, get that, uh, get that vitamin D, and uh, that's it. And until next time, everybody, have a good, wonderful 